Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine here. Uh, Johnny's ready to get his cook on, Jackson. I was just at Detweiler's, and uh, I'm going to make some stuff for sandwiches today. Uh, my favorite recipe, my sharif, peppers, onions, mushrooms, and tomatoes. With some Publix rolls. Publix makes the best rolls, man. Their bakery is incredible. I will give them that. Uh, so let me get, get the stuff. Let's see what we got cooking here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, man. I need to get my other phone. Hey, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. Ah, actually, it's about 11.30. Uh, I'm going to do a little... Uh, I'm going to get my cook on this morning. i got a couple of things here. Uh, I'm going to do my Shadis recipe. Uh, for sandwiches and I was just at Detweiler's and I told the girls at the deli that I was going to cook them lunch today So I'm going to bring them some of this stuff uh, When I'm done I even asked if they could like I'd pay for the sausage and throw the shit on the grill And they were all down but the you know this one guy there he's kind of a tight you know tight ass He's got fucking issues Uh but he wouldn't let us do it. He said, you can't do that. You can't cook food on that grill that we sell to you. So anyways, I wanted to show you one thing, guys. See these uh, these little trash cans? They, I mean, uh, these little trash bags. They fit great in a, in a bucket if you get the one gallon or one and a half gallon bucket. And it's great for uh, the waste from... Um, Toilets, wax seals, all that shit. You can throw it in this bag, put it in a bucket. It's easier to scrape your, your tools off and shit. Uh, but I've used these in the past and they're great. It's a nice, neat little bag uh, of garbage when you set a toilet or anything you do. Uh, they work out great. They're cheap and I keep them on my truck. Uh, so I've got some mushrooms here. Let me get... Uh, the rest of my stuff, y'all. So I'm going to make a couple of things today. I'm going to make cucumber salad, which is basically uh, cucumbers with uh, red onion and uh, some uh, this stuff. What do you call this? Dill. Red onion cucumber and dill get the seeds out of the cucumber uh, little balsamic don't put any oil into this but pull off the sprigs chop them up real good throw this stuff in your cucumber salad uh, with some balsamic vinegar good balsamic and you will enjoy the hell out of that after a day I make a big I bought six huge cucumbers so I'm gonna have plenty this, this dish has peppers, a couple of these fucking massive onions, man. These things are massive. Uh, Florida grown peppers, too. Guys, pick up the peppers and buy the ones that are light. They don't weigh much, but they're big as hell. Those are the ones, you know, you are paying by the pound, y'all. Not that Johnny's cheap or nothing, but damn, just get expensive. Now, I've got these rolls here from Publix, which it's it's probably not cool to walk into a deli with a bakery next to it with the competitor's rolls, but I just gotta tell you, anybody who knows bread, you know these are the these are the shit. Crunch, they got that. Egg wash. I bought ugly tomatoes. Two dollars and fifty-five cents. Debt wilders. 
going to cut the little nasty spots off and uh, go from there. So Detweiler's has its own coffee now. And this is the money. So I want to tell you a story. Yesterday I went up. Every time I go to public, I mean uh, Detweiler's, man, I got to go by and make sure they're stocked up on the Shadis. So I walk up and this lady's kind of looking around near the near the sausage and I said, hey, I said, let me let me tell you something. I said, have you ever tried this stuff right here? I pointed to it. She said, hell yeah, I live on that stuff. I'm from Massachusetts. I was like, honey, I love you. She said, yeah, my husband likes it too. And I said, well, if it doesn't work out between you and your husband, I'm single and ready to mingle, and I love fucking Shanice, man, and the goddamn linguisa. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Then she reported me to the store manager. So Detweiler's has its own coffee now. It says it's locally roasted in Sarasota. It may be that this is Java Dog. Roasted right here in Sarasota, Florida. So I'm going to give it a shot. The best thing is, it's only six bucks, man. For 12 ounces. Wouldn't want to give you a fucking pound of it. You know? That's ludicrous. That's ludicrous, man. I got some butter. Seven dollars for a pound of butter, guys. Yeah, I'm sure everybody that works for Land O'Lakes got a raise in the last few years with the record profits that company's posting. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I doubt it. All right, let me get to chopping here. I had to go to the GoPro, man. So we want to... Use a stick of butter. I buy these half sticks, man. They're nice. Had to spend, you know, $40 on fucking eye drops. Terrible. Cut up these. I'm going to do this, do that. Let me drink, strain these peppers. I mean, these are uh, mushrooms. Scooby dooby dee. So I was at Detweiler's, I came out, and my buddy, Sean, he used to work for me, owns his own business now. Uh, he's like, hey man, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I ain't doing nothing. What are you doing? He said, well, I got a job to do. But he went in there to buy some copper because he ran out of half inch copper. And uh, he had like five feet of M. Red letters, Jackson. Bad news, man. Bad news. So these, I don't want to rinse these. But I'm going to throw them in this pot. That's a lot of mushrooms, boys. Look at that, man. Damn. All right. So the next thing for me is these, uh, I could probably get rid of the trash bags. Get them trash bags, guys. You won't regret it. Little tip, 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 tip. Look at these ugly tomatoes, man. Clean them up. Two dollars. You kidding me, man? If you weren't watching. I'd just throw them in the fucking pot, man. The way they are. The sound of Johnny washing tomatoes.
It's the sound of the men working on the chain gang. Let's keep my See this knife? This yellow one? I bought this when I was in Moffat. Uh, doing my cancer treatment. I mean, after I had my... See, that wouldn't have bothered me. I would have fucking ate that. But, you know, you guys are watching that fucking move. Nice rough cut, guys. Big cubes. Uh... I think I will get, get this baby poppin'. I'm gonna make some friends today with this dish for these ladies. Johnny is always thinking this will be my random act of kindness. The, uh, there is a, uh, woman who works there. She's, uh, Vietnamese, and she's very sweet, and I've done a lot of work for her, uh, at her house. Um, that was the house that I pulled that fucking big root ball out. Um, yeah. So Tony Plumbob said to me yesterday, Tony Plumbob made an appearance. He said, look at you, you fucking goofball. All you do is sit on your lanai and make a fool out of yourself every day and collect royalties from fucking YouTube. And he said, at least when Trump was fucking president, you were working. And I was like, really? You know, is sitting on my lanai collecting royalties really worse than working, Tony Plumbob? So I said, you know something, Tony Plumbob? You're right. And thank you for fucking watching my videos. Thanks for watching. Not that I could survive on what I get from YouTube, but, you know, a couple lunches here and there. This mater. That mater may have killed you. Yeah. Don't want to fuck them girls up over there, man. Gotta make sure this shit's right. Gotta make sure it's right, Jack. You know I haven't heard from, haven't gotten an insult from in a while? Fucking James Brown. James, if you're out there, throw me a fucking insult. Want to make sure you're all right, brother. Yeah. Cast some dispersions upon me. That's a big word for you Republicans. Uh, look it up. Expand your vocabulary. Dispersions. It's going to be on the same page that Despicable is on. Yeah. You know, and there'd be a picture of Donald Trump there, too. You just can't buy this fucking whip that I have, man. You cannot buy it. Dispersions. Despicable. I'm just too fucking funny, man. I am just too fucking funny. So this guy who wouldn't let me cook a fucking piece of sausage in, uh, in, uh, Detweiler's, this lunch is for everybody but him. Yeah. Little prick.
Hey man, I heard that uh, Pinky Blinders is coming out with a movie, man. Which would be great. I love that show, man. I don't know. Just, I just love it. Really do, man. So my buddy Sean, this right here is his favorite fucking dish, man. The kid loves this shit. And uh, so I told him, I said, hey man, I'm, I'm cooking it. If you want to stop by, if you're, if you're in the neighborhood, man, you want a sandwich or something, come on by, Jackson. And uh, I gave him some L Copper. Half inch L. But he paid 20 fucking dollars for five feet of M. That's $80 a stick for M Copper. You ain't getting no deals over there at Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware is the place where you go when you ain't got nowhere else to fucking go. Ace is the place when everyone else is closed. Most of the time, they don't fucking have what you want anyway, so. <sighs> so when I was at uh, Detweiler's, all the uh, restaurant owners in town, you could see them, the uh, Vietnamese, Thai restaurants, they were all in there getting their shit, man. Getting their food, you know. Veggies, mainly. Wow, that's looking good. Guys. Check it out. Nice. Now we're gonna throw some peppers in there. Some of you are probably getting a little fucking antsy. I don't want to watch it cut all these fucking peppers. Too bad. Too fucking bad. I'm going to do something today, and I respect the hell out of him. I'm going to challenge Steve Lav to a cook-off. He'll be up there in New Bedford. New Bedford. That's where all this shit began for me, Jackson. Rhode Island. 30 minutes from where Steve Lab lives, most likely. Just a short jaunt over the Braga Bridge. Right, Steve? So if you're up for it, brother, let's have a cook-off. Get them fucking garbage cans out. Dust them off. Let's go. Challenge it. I'd invite Mikey Pipes to take a stab at that too, but you know, we just can't afford all that kosher fucking food, man. Guy eats like a king. What the fuck? Mikey, <clears throat> I made a couple comments today, and I'm just keeping it real, brother. You know, I'm just telling you what's on my mind. Don't take it personally. Constructive criticism is good, you know. Destructive con con uh, criticism is not good. Tony Plum Bob, really sensitive man. All right, guys, you see what I'm doing here. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you how I cut this.
This shit's all cooked, man. You can eat it. Like, mmm. Wow. All right, guys. So I saved the uh, onions for last. Shadish, peppers, onions, mushrooms so far. Tomatoes. I didn't put the onions in yet. I am going to take a whole stick of butter. That's a half a stick. <clears throat> I'm going to take some uh, red pepper flake. Make it a little hotter. The sausage is hot already. And you gotta put salt, not much, because the sausage is kind of salty, but you wanna put some salt in it because salt just makes every fucking thing taste better. It's a simple proposition, man. Ugh. comes the fun part guys Johnny and for you guys who are thinking Tony Plumbob Mark HVAC yes this is the towel that I use to pull a toilet and put it on yeah Kiss my ass, pal. I do have the lid to that. And I'm loving the new wheels on my on my uh dishwasher. And that was on the list of reasons why my girl don't want to be my girl anymore. She hates my dishwasher. But what the fuck? She doesn't use it. Not like she did anything. Honey, if you're watching, you gotta do some dishes or something. Just do your own. I don't even want you to help me. here unfucking matched oh this shit smelling good boys and girls <clears throat> being good with your hands uh can uh really come in handy as a cook man if you got strong hands and you're used to like cutting shit and you got a you got a little edge on these you know these guys who aren't very strong is what i'm trying to say bobby play i'm coming for you sucker you notice i'm always dropping names trying to I'm going with the, uh, what's that kid's name that's going to fight, uh, whatchamacallit, Mike Tyson? He's a fucking nobody. But he talks shit on YouTube, and look where he's going. Yes, someday I'll be on the Tonight Show. Yeah, alright. 
so this stuff's killing me. Just like that thought it would. Pay attention to detail, guys. No onion skins in the food, you know. Quality before quantity, what I'm trying to say. Ugh. Quality before quantity. And just be kind. Mikey, Mikey's always looking for a fight, man. He just, you know, when he's pacing out in front of people's house, watching his clock, they've got one minute and 42 seconds left to get here, or I'm gonna open up a can of fucking whoop ass on these motherfuckers. I mean, Jesus Christ, who do they think they are? The time is worth something. My time ain't worth nothing. I mean, it's worth something, but not enough to get me all fucking upset about the shit. I'm a fucking lady a break. That's all I'm trying to say, man. What the fuck, you never been late to anything? People are struggling, Mikey. We don't all fucking have a Porsche in the garage. Mike is going to come at me hard today, which is great for business. Mike, thanks, man. Appreciate when, he, when you fucking drop my name on your site. Say, fuck John Phillips! He's woke! He's one of them wokies! Yeah. Yeah, I'm a wokie. I broke the fuck up a long time ago. Some of you still need to wake the fuck up. See how nice and easy that was? Then you take a bag, a dip while it's bag, and you, uh, you know, make this shit disappear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I read like that, guys. When I get out to the trash, I'll, you know, take that stuff out. Next dish in waiting. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot, y'all. All right, let me just let this cook. Oh, fucking Nate's out here. I don't know why he's not working today. Maybe he is working. I better not show this. You guys want to buy this shit? It's for sale. Yeah, the guy coming from Orlando right now. He's on his way. The guy's coming from Orlando? Yep. To buy all of this. Don't sell him. Make sure he buys it all. Yeah, Check out that. these speakers. So he's buying all of that and all of this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Crank it up, man. Here, boys. Look 
these boxes, everything he needs, man. He had these guys made up. I think. I don't know. I'm thinking if I'm going to go get a copyright fucking infringement, it might as well be worth it. Who is this? Chris Stapleton, he's a bad man. I got a tent, man, with a with a window. Nice. What yeah, size? Man. Ten by ten? They're big. You want it? Nah. I'm comfortable under here. It's good. Why you gotta be so cold, baby? Yeah. Hey, what's nice is a uh, buddy of mine. Why aren't you working? Because I told Chuck I needed half the day off to come sell this stuff. He's like, all right. You got any more of them ginger ales? Yeah, I got a couple more. I just need one, man. My neighbors can't wait till we leave. My buddy Chris is in the same industry as I am, and he's got he's got a garage full of stuff. Is he bringing money with him? Yeah, he's bringing Tell him, bring the fucking cash. I got a I got a uh, marker in the house. Yep. Make sure that shit's I got my legit. Got millimeter in the fucking in the gun cabinet loaded just in case. There you go. The old Glock. The old Glock. That'll. H K. Heckler and Koch. Real nice, right out of the box, man. 15 yards away, right in the center every time. And I got some of those, uh, I got four clips full of the Hydra shocks. They explode on impact. This pool ain't bad enough. You guys got to deal with two dogs licking you. <laughs> Some guy called me the other day. He's like, hey, uh, your dogs are <laughs> giving me a bunch of shit about my dogs. I was like, why didn't you just call me and say, hey, your dogs got out. They were playing in the middle of Proctor Road. Oh, no. But he was more concerned about Gussie shit in his yard. Come on, you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, my pool guys are actually women. <laughs> Fucking Nate's got some nice shit. If anybody's a DJ out there, come on, Gussie, get out of here. You want to buy some stuff? He said he's got a guy coming down to buy all of that shit right now. going on wow not really even steaming yet what's the deal man oh smelling good why you gotta be so cold Those tomatoes are releasing all their juice, man. Look at this. Butter. Crushed with pepper, man. Getting there. <coughs> Alright, guys. So I've got a this thing's full and it's hot as fuck. I'm gonna bring that to Detweilers. I don't want to insult them by bringing rolls. You know, I'm not saying their rolls are not as good as Publix, but they're not. Anyways, I've already eaten two sandwiches, guys. You can see that this bag has been broken into. Tell me this shit does not look delicious, man. 
This is food truck stuff, man. Johnny could have his own food truck. I'd call it whatever I felt like today. Yeah. And it's gonna be good. All right, so I'm gonna run over to uh, Detweiler's. Maybe show you the show you the unveiling when I give this to these ladies. Uh, it's 12:54. I know they're pretty busy at the noon hour, so I'm just gonna meander my way over there and uh, hook these girls up. All right, guys, Johnny Sunshine. I just dropped off lunch for the crew over at Detweiler's. Some of the hardest working people you ever want to see. I wasn't able to get any footage of me giving them their lunch, but they, uh, I talked to them and said, you know, I hope they enjoy it. And the one girl will give me a call and let me know how they like it. But it was, they had customers stacked up like cordwood or sardines, wherever the fuck you're from. And, uh, so I didn't really want to whip out the fucking GoPro and start interviewing people. Especially before they ate it. But anyways, hopefully they'll enjoy it. And I enjoy doing that, man. That's my good deed for the day. Uh, like I said, they've prepared many meals for me, my friends. And it's just a small token of my appreciation to them. And, uh... It's all good, man. It goes a long way. Just be kind. I'm trying, man. You, some of you are going to say, Yeah, but you're not kind. You're always fucking yelling about people. I'm trying. I'm fighting myself. Trust me. I'm trying to be more kind. Well, you know the old saying. Do as I say, not as I do.